myself, you asked me to. Shane, finally, welcome to YouTube. Thank you very much, thanks for having me. Oh, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Is it weird, my friend? Do you not watch it back on YouTube, no? I actually, uh, I've only I've only seen it there when the finished edit of it was done. Yeah. So I haven't seen it since then. I saw clips of it obviously on Twitter and stuff like that. But yeah, no, I don't, I don't know, maybe it's... Don't watch your back too many times. Are you going to watch me going, where are the rest of the lads? <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's weird, yeah, the photo shoots where I got to get up last and stuff, and got to pick all the nice clothes on the rails. Oh, lovely. Uh, that was pretty cool. The luxuries yeah. of it all. The luxuries, Now, yeah. I know that when you were in Westlife, you got to write on a few of the songs. Yeah. With this one, you really kind of got stuck in with, with the songwriting and stuff. Yeah. Was that important to you? It, well, well, it wasn't necessarily important. It was something that it was encouraged from the record label and Louis and... Everybody was encouraging me, giving me the opportunity to do it. And I said, look, I, I can't, I don't know if I deliver, but I want to try, you know, I'd love to try. And then they, when you get encouraged, you kind of feel like, right, there's no pressure here. If I don't get the song, I don't get them. But yeah, the first song I wrote for the album was Everything to Me, which was my first single. Yeah. So I got off to a good start, and then uh, we just kept going six months, basically six months in the studio. Yeah, a lot of songs. And the reaction's been great. It's been great, yeah, it's been great. Obviously, the album's out now, and it's, uh, I suppose, nine months, kind of, I suppose, getting ready for it in the making and stuff. So it's, it's pretty cool that I said. A lot of fans. musicians. And I guess songwriters actually kind of vent through your music, but there's a sh sheer amount of positivity running through your music. Was that kind of a clear? Yeah, no, I, yeah, that was the one thing I wanted to do. I wanted to kind of write songs that kind of made me feel happy or talk about things that made me happy, whether it's my wife or kids or just my life in general. Yeah. Um, looking back over kind of good memories in my life. Yeah. Um, and I literally just wrote true stories, just yeah. songs about that. And I you're clearly really... absolutely madly in love with your life. We have a picture of you oh, now. Oh, that's <laughs> ten years ago. Yeah. I, know. I know this I December. Mean, you were so young when you got married. I know. Yeah, you were it's twenty-four. Twenty-four. Yeah. So. Madly wow. in love, and you've got gorgeous kids and everything. Three the kids are, yeah, and the cool patch for Shane, so it's great. It's, it's been an amazing 10 years, now. she's great. And of course, moving on now, uh, you're massive all over the world, literally, and especially China as well. There's a huge, is it true there's like they have names for you over there? It's, like, it's, it's pretty crazy, China, because we only we went there in the last kind of four or five years of the yeah. band, and we never realized how big it was out there. Um, but I actually went down there recently, not to China, but to Southeast Asia for the first like, kind of solo yeah. trip. And it was like, like literally like I never left. There was like hundreds of people at the airport screaming. And I was like, what? You know, I'd only released this, the first song, you know. Yeah. So we went number one down there in a lot of the countries. And it's, it's doing really well. I'm going back to Malaysia next week, actually. Malaysia, Singapore and Taiwan on Thursday. So yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be pretty, busy. pretty crazy. Age is going to be a big part of my career, I think, definitely. It's yeah. definitely getting a good start down there. So it's, it's a matter of, we've got to keep going back there. The biggest market in the world. Well, it's like three billion people. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> half, it's half crazy. The, half the world is down there. It's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard to believe. It's crazy. But um, some of the Westlife fans, I heard about it. I don't know if it's true or not, but there are some very intense Westlife fans mm. that actually moved to Sligo. This is your kid actually told me this. Yeah, <laughs> there is. Um, I think it's from Denmark, are they? Yeah. And Germany. Germany. Germany, Germany yeah. Yeah. There's, a, there's a couple of Germans, yeah, that moved there. A couple of Danish fans, yeah. So, but you know, I, oh, I, I, there, I, live, oh. in, I live in London now, so I never see them. So, <laughs> yeah. so I'm sure they're going to relocate to try. Yeah, I probably see them all the time. <laughs> uh, are you still in touch with all the lads? Are yeah, you? yeah, no, yeah. The boys are all tweeting for my album today, which is nice. Yeah. Um, but we haven't seen each other in a long time. So I was chatting to Nicky the other night for a good while. Um, about obviously G and the baby, the baby yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. So it was, uh, I'll see him in a couple of weeks at Chiline. Mm -hmm. um, I'm doing that in a couple of weeks and he'll be introducing me on stage. So that'll be no good. way, yeah, that's so that'll be mad. Bizarre, well, I can, you know, if, if I get a bit scared, he can hold my hands. You know, <laughs> so it's all good. And is it kind of like, are you ringing up the lads, you know, kind of almost not getting advice, but sort of sharing your experience with them? No, it's not. It's funny because I think we're all, we're all, I suppose, after Westside, we all kind of just went our separate ways. You know, yeah. we all, I suppose, now are still, you know, individually trying to find. Our, our paths in life, you know, and trying to find where we're going in, in our careers. And yeah. But yeah, no, it was nice to see them all tweeting today and saying everyone to work at the album and stuff. That was and uh, you're going on tour soon enough, but you're going to be in Ireland on the 11th of March. 11th of March, yeah, you're going to be in the Olympia. 11th and 12th, actually. Are you looking forward to that? Because obviously you played Crow Park, massive venue. I, I and am. The intimate the kind of atmosphere. It's, it's, it was funny, I went to a gig there a couple of weeks ago, see Lawson, yeah. and um, it was the first time I'd seen a gig in the Olympia, and the atmosphere was incredible it's in the place. So, for me, it's my first show, it's my first ever concert, Shane, yeah. final concert, so it's going to feel like, you know, for it's me, gonna it's going to feel brilliant. like yeah. Crow Park when I'm up there, it's going to feel like, oh my God, they're all here to see and so. the 12th March. Thank you so much for coming in and having thanks, a chat with us. Thanks for having me. Really, really, really appreciate it. Now, it's time for the sentence.